K-State is in hot water today because of the lack of security when fans stormed the court last night after that big win over KU. Our sports director Shane Ewing here with all the details. Hey Shane. Yeah, you know, it's one of the most exciting scenes in all of sports. An in-your-face indicator that something incredible has just happened. But Kansas State storming the court last night managed to point to a major failure in the midst of victory. And here they come, folks. It appears to be a university bonded together to share joy after an upset against its in-state rival. But Kansas State calling it an unfortunate situation. We do apologize to uh, Athletic Director Shan Zinger and Coach Self, uh, who we have enormous respect for and appreciation in the entire team. Fans creating an unsafe atmosphere for the opponent. Court storming, the subject of today's ESPN Outside the Lines. Well, there are several students that hit our players, you know, uh, not, not, not saying like with fists, but I mean, you storm the court, you run in, you bump everybody, stuff like that. This has got to stop. And somebody's going to get hurt, and when it happens, we're going to all say that this should have been stopped a long time ago. The Wildcat faithful had stormed the court against KU twice in two years, but video evidence of a fan hitting Jamari Trailer and Bill Self getting caught in the mob with a defensive Bruce Weber, throwing the safety debate into overdrive. I think court storming is fine, but surely you can get security to the point where, where player safety is not involved uh, uh, like it is over here. I tried to protect Bill best I could. Finally, I just said, heck with it. I started pushing people out of the way, so, um, which, is, which is sad. Enjoy it, make the most of it, but also be respectful of, of your opponent and make sure they get off the court safely. Kansas State Police are now looking for the fan who hit trailer. The university saying it's reviewing video with police to determine charges to file. <laughs> All right, now John Curry said the biggest what? difference between last year's court storming and this year's was that the players last year celebrated at mid-court here. That allowed for the fluorescent and black shirts to kind of form this barrier and allow the players to shake hands between press row oh. and the celebration. This year, that was not the case. Curry points out that the players celebrated. As soon as they came here, they celebrated right at the bench. They came toward press row, and it just all collapsed. But you do see the fluorescent shirts over here, over here, <laughs> just not getting there even close to in time. The Big 12 also saying it is investigating this matter. Susan? Oh, wow, good story. Thank you, Shane.